Hey guys, welcome to the video. Um, today I'm doing a service dog gear haul. And I think I'm going to start out with collars. Um, so first off, um, I have this flat collar. I got it like Walmart. It's a cute collar. I got our tags on it. And I got this collar flower on it. And then I have this biothane one. Um, it's, I don't know where I got it from. Um, because this was one of my other dog's collars that we didn't use. So I basically just cut it to the size I needed and then just punched holes in it. So yeah, I don't, I, I use this one. Kind of. It's been getting kind of warm, so I've been using it more. And then I have her martingale. It's a little, it's really big on her. Like, if you do this, it's like her normal size. I need to get her a new one. But I just haven't had the chance to, to yet. Because most of my stuff, I don't really buy most costume stuff for her, so. I don't have a martingale that really fits her yet. Again, this one we made ourselves. But we mostly got it from our easy walk. And then just fit it towards her. Um, and then I have this collar bandana. So basically it just like slides over the collar and stays put. And then I have this tie one. Um, this one was made by me. And this one it, I just cut it. Um, I think next we're going to leashes. Yeah, let's go to leashes. Um, I have this one, which is a, like a no shock thing from Amazon. It has this really cool clip that locks. I used to have a buckle on it, but um, we took it off to make our own seatbelt thing. Um, it has a built in traffic lead too. Um, and a D ring. And I'm um, sorry if you hear my dogs outside. They're loud. Um, I have this one too. Um, oh, so I got the other one on Amazon. Um, this one is from Petco. And it's quite nice. I don't think I'd get another one again because of how expensive it was. But I, I like it. It doesn't really match most of my gear though. So I don't really use it that much. Um, this one... Um, it's just like a homemade one, it's just like it has a basic clip. Um, pretty sturdy handle, it's just made out of webbing, it's not really pretty. I haven't really used it that long for anything really. I might start using it, because it matches a lot of our gear. Um, I have this red traffic lead then. Um, I usually don't use this much. I only use it really if I have like a Martin Girl collar on. Other than that, I really don't use it. Then I have this one that um, used to be an over the shoulder leash, but then got chewed. So now it's just a basic leash. So there's a handle here and a handle here. So, but if you didn't want one clip on the end, you could just have like this and this. Or you could make the handle bigger and the leash part shorter. I like it. Um, not my favorite. <laughs> so this is a traffic bead for a big dog. Um, but I just use it as a leash extender. So if like if I get like a traffic bead that's too long, too short, I'll just attach this to it and it'll be the right length. So. I, I like it. Next is my favorite leash in the entire world. My Biothane leash from CSJ Creations. I got it in lavender and black. It's eight feet. It's very nice. I got the stoppers. So, and it's a multi way leash, so I can use it for like hands free, hold the shoulder, waist. Um, 
a really long lead, a tie out, and a double two dog leash. I usually use it as a or the shoulder. Um, and it's just like a random thing. Um, so I have a slip lead for her. And I mean, it's just a basic, like a webbing slip lead. So it's okay. So you just like slip it over their head and then close it on their neck. It's nice. I don't use it as much as I would like. Next. Uh, so I'm getting her boots soon, but this is all that I have. So these, I lost the fourth one. I need to make a new one. But I have these. And then for right now, to since it's super hot where I live, um, I've been using a cat non scratch non scratch boot from for cats. And I mean, it works for us. You gotta do what you can to make sure your dog's paws don't get hurt. And then for clothing, um, let me grab something. For clothing, I have um, this homemade dog hoodie. I usually like throw it in the freezer and then it gets super cool. And then, um, yeah, there's a one before Christmas shirt. I think I got it from like Pets Barn. More random stuff. So um, I have these two pet holders. They're nice. Got them from like um, I think Petco. They're nice. And then I have this. Um, well, it's a treat bag, but it's too small for my treats. Or anything to be really used as a treat bag. So right now I just have it as a medicine holder. And so I just like attach it to a leash. And then it just dangles. And. So this is my treat pouch that I use. Um, it's a pup box treat pouch. Treat pouch. So it just like. Has it like this. And it has a clip to go on your belt. Like a. Like a, a belt. It's like a thing where you can, like put on your pants. It's nice. I quite like it. And the patches, I don't really have that many. A lot of them are my um, best. So I have this basic one. Uh, it's probably backwards. But um, it's a service dog. I, I like it. And then I have a medical alert, do not distract one. And a medical alert service dog one. And then I have this one that says caution, do not talk to hand electric stress like my favorite patch I think I think we're going to capes next I only have one cape and this is her I don't know how I would show you guys this but so it basically says no photos no talking no touching no eye contact and then it just says service dog on the bottom it's nice again this one my mom made actually, so it just like clips onto a harness. It's adjustable. I didn't cut the straps because so it can fit like over like a jacket. But it's like my favorite thing in the world. So I have two harnesses for her. So I have this custom made straight front that my mom made, I think. It's just like a basic straight front. So because she walks on a harness because she's a push and face dogs and it's safe for her so this is where these were where the cape would attach and then these you would like pull together like martin girl style and clip a leash to it it's nice i don't use it as much because i don't really like how it sits on her this is my favorite harness i really only have two um it's a white front and um, it has two D rings for a cape and then one for a leash. It's nice. I like it. I like how it sits on her. Now into this. So I have this pink one. It says, No disabilities are visible. And I'm not here for your entertainment. I'm here to do my job. And then it has this. I use this for like sensory things when I'm when she's like on my lap and I'm I just do it if I'm like just just so do like going into like an episode and then I'm getting a deering to attach a leash to. It's pink and black. There are colors, so I quite like it. 
Next is my homemade um, tactical vest. Um, it's just black and blue. Quite nice. It's their first vest. <laughs> so it's nice. This is my custom embroidery vest that I got for her. Um, again, homemade. And um, it just says Janet you know, Strack, I'm working on the middle. And service dog on the sides. It's blue. Blue and purple and white. She doesn't wear this as much as I would like to do. But it doesn't really fit her that well. Because I'm um, wearing. They forgot to make it adjustable. So yeah, that quite sucks. And. Oh, and um, not really gear, but I have this Best Bud Suds. So Dog detangling spray, cherry blossom, and mango spray. It's nice. It's just like a small thing. And then this, if I decide to do like a liquid treat, I just put it in so that she can just like take a lick from it. It's quite nice. And um oh, and sometimes if I need something sensory and I don't, I'm not using the pink vest. Um, I just attach this pull strap. Um. This I got for my service dog in training that he is now washed, and, um, but I just, like, attach it to her harness, and then it just sits on her, and then I can just, like, rub it. And then, it feels 